Hi guys, um, Audi A6 C6, uh, it's a 2008 model this is and um, it's got that common problem where even though the seat belt is buckled in, uh, occasionally the seat belt warning sign comes up and starts bleeping. Um, now you can actually pry this cover off uh, without taking the actual seat apart and the seat belt uh, unit out. It does crack in places and break because it's actually glued together uh, but it can be done uh, if you're careful. This, the, f the fat side goes on the back end there near the center console uh, and the thinner parts at the front. Uh, what I did was um, I just a screwdriver between the two uh, and pried it off using the red bit as a bit of leverage. Uh, it does crack off in the end. Um, the actual problem lies within this micro switch. I don't know if I can focus on it. There's a little micro switch plate thing in there that. Um, switches on and off once you put the the buckle in but over time it goes kind of flat uh, so it loses the kind of banana shaped bend on it what i'm going to actually do is stick a pry little pry tool in there and try and get that bend reformed uh, to try and make it work as it should again Got a few different uh, types of pry tools there, picks, um, and it's going to point out to the area we're looking at. So it's in there. Can't really focus on it, but there's a little metal metal plate thing in there that's kind of gone flat, but it needs to be kind of a banana shape. So I'm going to try and pry that back into shape and then put it all back together maybe use a bit of um, uh, super glue to glue the two plastic outer casings back together without gluing any moving parts uh, so you've got to be very careful there when putting it all back together but hopefully that should fix the problem uh, it will be a quick temporary fix until I get hold of a new buckle Now this actual white piece here, the white uh, the switch part of the buckle, uh, you need to, when, when removing it from the actual side of the unit, there's a, there's a clip just there, uh, which clips into this metal part here. Uh, you just pry it off with a, a, a thin flathead screwdriver. It comes off quite easily actually. And when you're putting it back together, you just line it up and it just clicks back in like that. That's it. So before you put it all back together, you can just check, uh, test it out. And if you put the, the seat belt in, and you'll see that green unit thing there that goes down and actually clicks the switch. The one that we've just bent back into place down in that, down in that corner there in the white unit and um, you can just test it uh, to see if your bleeping stopped with your ignition on and your car running right so I'm just testing this out and um, the seat belt signs not on so if I remove the belt it comes on and so I put the belt back in it will go off. There you go. Uh, before, when I used to tug on the belt or mess around with this, the, the belt buckle uh, in the actual holder, it used to uh, come on and off. And when you're driving, it used to obviously bleep as well. But um, as you can see, I'm tugging on it now. But tug on it, don't mess around with it. Um, 
it's fine now. It's, the light's not coming back on. Only, only when I unclip it, how it should be. So it seems to have fixed a problem. So I'm just gonna put this back together with a bit of um, super glue and a uh, bit of um, tape just to hold it together while it dries. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.